27.7% la desigualdad salarial entre hombres y mujeres. Y esto sin causar inflación ni pérdida de empleos. Trabajamos por un salario mínimo digno en México. Gobierno de México. Guanatosfm.net los comentarios vertidos en este medio de comunicación son de exclusiva responsabilidad de quienes las emiten y no representan necesariamente el pensamiento ni la línea de guanatosfm.net. Hello, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Today is the 9th of January, and I want to thank everybody this Tuesday for showing up, for being part of this program. Again, I'm only wearing my hat because I didn't get a haircut. I want everybody to know that I'm not trying to be a wise guy. Anyway, <laughs> I got Monica here with me today, uh, her first time on the show. Yay. She's a very interesting young lady, and I'm going to read a little bit about her. <laughs> but first, I want to thank all those that have watched us uh, last year. We had uh, viewers from uh, from Barcelona. We have viewers from Chile, uh, Argentina, and Honduras, United States, and of course, here, right here in Mexico. So I want to thank all you guys for participating. I want to let you know also that if you want... All you got to do is when you check us out live, you can have your comments and uh, I'll have my little stuff here working, hopefully. And this way you'll be able to um, uh, ask questions and then we'll answer them as we go along. Uh, I want to thank you again for being part of this program. I really am proud uh, to represent uh, this English community. Mónica. Mónica mm -hmm. Acosta es su nombre. Arriaga. Acosta. Hola, oh, la, 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 el segundo apellido. Ajá, Arriaga. Ok, I don't have it here, but anyway. No, el segundo es Acosta. Ajá, Arriaga Acosta. Uh, she's a, a ortho molecular um, nutritionist. Um, nutritionist. Uh -huh. And uh, also known as, known as a mega vitamin therapist. Uh -huh. uh, what it is, an alternative uh, therapy based on the idea of taking very high doses of vitamins to tackle diseases. Mm -hmm. Additionally, uh, it is, uh, it's based on diets and food supplements of essential vitamins and minerals specifically selected to solve individual problems and needs. It's an overall aim of promoting optimal health and longevity for everyone. Monica, I want to thank you for being on the program. Thank you, Luis, for uh, she, having me. She, yeah, thank you. And, you know, I got to give her a lot of credit because Monica was a bit concerned <laughs> about her pronunciation of English. Uh, and well, that, this is my first interview in English, so. So check that out. So it's good yeah. that it's here because this is a very relaxed atmosphere. Mm -hmm. uh, our questions are based on what you do. Okay. And uh, they should be easier for you to, to, um, to transmit to our audience. We're doing this as a service, as a public service on Community Voice Radio through guanatosfm.net. And I want to thank them for giving giving us this privilege of being here. Yes. Um, Monica, um, mm -hmm. I had questions for her, and then we went back and forth. And so I'm going to use some of her questions, rightly so, because they'll be easier to answer. And uh, it just makes it, uh, it facilitates this conversation and this interview entirely. Uh, I would like to start with a very basic question, I reckon, which is how can we transform our body mm -hmm. and recover energy with nutrition? How okay. can we do that? Yeah, well, it's very important, nutrition, because it can uh, improve your health. So when you improve your health through nutrition, you transform your body. Why? Because if you have a good nutrition, good habits, your digestion improves, you lose weight, your, your skin changes, your hair, your nails. Mm -hmm. So that's how you transform your body. It's not just about losing weight. Right. Uh -huh. right. So it's just, it, it's every, it's a, every uh -huh, a healthier body. Every part of your body feels better. So that's how you transform your body and you get more energy. 
So yeah, it's very important. Maybe some people just think that nutrition is about doing diets or losing weight, but not. It's. Uh, I always thought that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, I always thought that because um, I definitely I know I'm overweight and I have my health issues. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that um, I don't I don't adhere to, I don't go along with, is uh, a lot of a lot of the stuff that I read on the internet. Mm -hmm. They give you these long promotional uh, videos about how can you improve your blood pressure? How mm -hmm. can you get rid of diabetes? Uh -huh. How can you do this? And how can you do that? But it's all a product. And, mm -hmm. and what I've noticed that after watching them, and sometimes I watch the whole video, most uh -huh. of the time I don't, but at times I do, uh, they always sell you some pills. Uh -huh. And they, they state that they're natural pills, natural products. Mm -hmm. And I just wonder why a pill? Why not food? And mm -hmm. yours is through food, healthy yes. eating. Am I right? Yes, it's healthy eating, and the orthomolecular nutrition system. It's uh, you have this um, support with supplements, but the main um, the main uh, basis are it's food. Right. Uh huh. The, the consumption yeah. of what uh -huh, you eat. Uh -huh, what you eat, and then you have the support of supplements. Yes, because supplements also helps. But yes, you have to change the way you eat, and you have to change your food habits. And it's not difficult because many people uh, think that, but not. It's just change the way you eat, wow. and and that's all. And yes, you can uh, add supplements, but it's not the supplement, the one that makes the the change. It's you. Right, you have to right. change the. You have to <laughs> to be the change you want. <laughs> uh, when uh, I find what you do challenging because it's not easy mm -hmm. for, and I'm talking about someone like me that has been eating wrong for a very long time, and uh, to then change to healthy eating habits. Do I eat healthy food? Yes, I eat healthy foods. Mm -hmm. But behind the healthy food, mm -hmm. I me trago chicharrón y papa frita <laughs> con taquitos dorados. Okay. And a lot of that grease and a lot of that food, a lot, mm -hmm. a lot of that stuff is not prepared, you know, not not to benefit our bodies. Mm -hmm. So when I say it's hard, I'm just speaking from my own personal experience. How do you start to make someone realize that this is necessary by looking at what affects them, by uh -huh. what problems they have? Yes, most of the time people, when they feel bad or when they have a disease is when they want to do changes right. no? because if you know it you ah, okay uh -huh. something is wrong so that's an like an alert or a, a, yeah. a, a sign yeah. that your body is telling you you have to do a change so i guess one uh, well that one can be a motivation no like okay yes. Yes. my body is telling me i have to do a change something, yeah. uh, something. so well Maybe that's the first step. And then uh, it's not that you are not going to eat any more those food, right. but you have to make a balance, no? You, right, can, you right. can't measure. Uh -huh, you, you have to measure and you have to uh, just have an uh, equilibrium. Disciplina, or, no? Uh, no, discipline. Disciplina. Equilibrium. Disciplina. Sí, equilibrium. But you can also eat those food, but not in big amounts. Quantity. No? Uh -huh, quantity, yes. Yeah. Not in, in, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's true too, because. Um, and I'm talking about diets now. I remember uh, I've been on about four or five diets in my life. Mm -hmm. And on just one of them was effective. And, and I didn't starve. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was effective because in addition to eating less and eating properly, mm -hmm. I exercise. Yeah. And I believe that exercise is also part of the Ah, program. yes. Am yes. Right? Yeah. It's part of changing your, your lifestyle, no? Okay. Because uh -huh. so yeah, it's people when people think in diets is okay. I'm just going to do this for two months, three months because I want to lose weight, right. and then I will forget it. And no, you have to uh, change your mind, and uh, and you have to know that this is a, a change for a long term, wow. no, not just for yeah, yeah, a few for months. months. And that's a very different uh, like point of view or like. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. So uh, the goal, yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. and and it's not so difficult, yes. But you have to have like this um, this idea that it's not just for a few months. That is for it's, life changing. Uh, it's a life changing. Uh -huh. And you can uh, learn to uh, eat healthy, and in it's not so difficult. When you say eating healthy and it's not so difficult, mm -hmm. uh, do you give them a list? 
of the foods that they should eat, or do they at first give you a list of what they eat? Both. <laughs> yeah, when you come to my to my consultation, consult uh, consultation yes, I ask you what, how are you eating, how are your actual habits, your right. and then uh, yes, I give you a meal plan, and yes, I can give you a, a list or I I give you a menu uh, for the week. So, uh, but it's based on what you need. If you uh, are overweight or if you have diabetes or you have cholesterol or uh, triglycerides and it depends, no? Uh, but it's personalized. Yes. Every, everyone needs a different uh, meal plan, no? It's not ah. uh, for everybody. Okay. So, yes. And then I, I uh, uh, tell you which are the nutrients um, that uh, are good for you. That if you have diabetes or you have, um, I don't know, well, for for uh, improve your metabolism, different no uh, uh, conditions, I say you or I tell you which nutrients are the best for you, and then you can add those supplements to your meal plan. So as a um, as a uh, auto molecular specialist or mm -hmm. um, that you are. Um, is this, is this a, uh, this is your profession. You studied this, am I right? Yes, I'm stu I studied nutrition and then I made this specialization uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. in orthomolecular nutrition. Yes, it sounds a little bit weird, <laughs> orthomolecular, okay. but it's not so difficult. It's just about giving the, the cells the um, proper amount of nutrients it needs, but uh, in food, we have the nutrients, but now in these days, we are we are, we live in uh, polluted cities. Right. We have a lot of, of stress, food. Uh -huh, synthetic food. So yeah, it's not enough with the food we eat. Okay. So that's okay. why we need these supplements like vitamins, minerals, but in the proper amount for each one. No, it's not just okay. Go and and buy a multivitaminic. Right. And no, no, no. So that's my job. I'm I'm going to tell you which nutrient is the right for you and how do you have to uh, intake yeah. them, uh, them no because people uh, they take the supplements all the supplements in the morning and they say okay boom and no it's different <laughs> if you it's like okay no probiotics You're it's right. better in the morning if right. you take omega it's better after uh, the the lunch or See. i don't know yeah? so it's different for each one so people don't know how to take them properly right no <laughs> i wouldn't either i mean i know you provide that guidance for uh -huh. them how yes. to take it mm -hmm. but I, I wonder um do people Take these supplements when when you prescribe them. When you suggest mm -hmm. they take mm -hmm. it, do they take it after meals, before meals, on an empty stomach with a glass of water with juice? Mm -hmm. it, 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 that, that does it depend on whatever is affecting your body? In other words, like you say, would you say in the morning? Okay, mm -hmm. as soon as you wake up, drink two glasses of water, with, mm -hmm. you know, not with, cold, uh -huh. uh, room temperature with <laughs> these nutrients, yeah. or do you say during your before your first meal? Yes. Or during your meal or after your meal. How do you start that? Does the client feel comfortable? Because it's not so much about them feeling comfortable, but would they pay attention? Would they be uh, would they be disciplined enough to follow your procedure or do they find that difficult? Well, nutrients, abs uh, they absorb better if you take how they, ha uh, uh -huh, how are, they are prescribed. But well, I know that many people, may, see many people, uh, if they work or have a job that maybe don't, uh, yeah. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we are going to do like a, a schedule that works for the person, no? So, yeah. Uh, but yes, the, the nutrients absorb different in a different way. So it will be better like to take the, how they have to be taken but if not okay we can do like a schedule be for uh-huh yes it's not that it's not going to work for you but it will be better if you take as they have to be sometimes <laughs> yeah it's just that uh, i'm also speaking from experience i think this whole show mm -hmm. will be from my personal experience mm -hmm. if my doctor prescribes a pill mm -hmm. For me to take in the morning, and I forget. Oh my God, I take it at nine o'clock. Oh well, I take it at twelve. Then the next day, <laughs> the next yes. one, I'll take. 
-hmm. you know, um, and I do that, I guess, trying to circumvent what he has given me because I, I failed to follow strictly his instructions. Mm -hmm. How, how, um, how has your success been with people that you have had as clients? Mm -hmm. Have they come back to you and said, you know, Monica, muchas gracias, you know, mm -hmm. está funcionando bien. How, how often do you see them and how long is the, and I'm going to say average, maybe there is an mm -hmm. average treatment. How long, how often do you see them and how long uh, do they remain on a program? Okay, let's talk about like overweight, not like losing okay. weight, that is a more common. <coughs> okay, um, a, a person, ca uh, I have, uh, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, Casos de, casos, casos de éxito. Yeah, successful sí. cases. Succe uh -huh. Successful cases. And, okay, you can lose up to eight, uh, no, but, well, it's eight kilos, ocho kilos. Eight kilos? Mm -hmm, in one month. That's About like 20 a, pounds. Uh -huh, 20 pounds in one month. And it uh, that's a, a healthy uh, number, yeah? Also, it can be less. It could be cuatro kilos for cuatro or eight kilos per month. Right. It's It's a, a healthy way to lose weight. It is. Uh huh. It's a lot of weight. Yeah, and you lose fat, not your, not just lose muscle. water or muscle, and that's very important. And that's something I do. I in my consultation, I have this body analyzer that it's the name is Embody, and uh, I can see how is your body composition, and that's very important. Okay, so that's the average, no? Like four to eight, four kilos to eight kilos per month. Wow. And also, you if you have like cholesterol, triglycerides, diabetes, or glucose, also with the meal plan and the supplementation, you can uh, lo your lower those levels. So it it improves uh, a lot the health of the people. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, I have seen that just with the meal plan and with the supplementation. Yeah. So uh, that's what I like ortho molecular nutrition because it's not just about uh, giving like pills to lose weight. No, I give you nutrients, you to modify your metabolism, okay. to activate your metabolism, and you lose weight in a uh, in a healthy way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you include exercise also? Ah uh, yes, but okay, I'm not a physical. No, I'm not. Uh, Beat coach or how do you say? Well, yeah, okay, yeah. but yeah. yes, aha, uh -huh, a training. But yes, I say okay, yeah, you have to do exercise, of course. At least walk 20 minutes. Aha, uh -huh, at least no, but yes, I I can suggest you like some videos or or you go to the gym or yeah. walk and but yes, it's part of the program because the people that do exercise, it's uh, is is faster. Uh, exactly it, the it, yeah. the way they lose weight. No, if yeah, exactly. you want to lose weight, yeah. yes. So <clears throat> the um. With the uh, we're talking about supplements and nutrients, uh, must there always be pills, e even if they're natural products, or could people substitute pills for the actual food? Maybe the food doesn't contain enough mm -hmm. of the nutrients needed. Is, is the pills concentrated with that specific nutrient? Yeah, that's it. The um, why we need it in supplements because. For example, if you want to uh, have the um, uh, vitamin C, like the uh, in a supplement, it's um, for example, it's five thousand milligrams. Okay. But for take those five thousand, uh huh. Ten, ten oranges. No, like twenty orange really? daily. So no. I, I see. I see. Yeah. So that's why we need right. the, the the supplement or the extra. Okay. No. Mm -hmm. well, that that's, makes sense. But I just yes. Uh -huh. figured I ask anyway. No, yeah. Because I think, well, why can't I eat five oranges instead of taking pills? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I understand that. Yeah. Uh, the um, with this successful um, that you have had, the successes that you have had, uh, do people continue? Do they stay on that plan, or do they modify what they eat once they lose the weight and they feel better with? I don't know if you can get rid of diabetes. Let's mm -hmm. say they get they lower down the sugar level. Mm -hmm. Uh, a control, it's just control. control. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, an average that people may, uh, do like a diet, uh, the, the, ¿cómo se dice? Lo, lo más, el, el más tiempo. El, el, the longer period. The longer period is like one year. 
no? Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Or six to six months but to one year. One would be, year would be really nice. Uh -huh. they continue? Yes, because, uh -huh. and then, then after one year, uh, it's not so common that people continue. Yeah, right? But then it, uh, they came back like, uh, come back? They yeah, come um, back like two yeah, years later. after uh, later and they, okay, because maybe they, they start again. And they start, well, maybe not the, well, people, yes, gain a gateway, but not everybody. Maybe not right. all the like 10 kilos, no, but maybe five kilos. Yes, they, they, okay, return. Uh -huh, they return to, yeah. uh -huh. they add it up again. Uh huh. That's why, but do you know why? Because maybe they don't do these changes we talked before. Yeah, they don't really do the the mind reset right, right. <laughs> because that's the more important also, no? Yeah, I, I say these are emotional kilos. Yeah. And why? Because uh, it's most of the, the people that has overweight and uh, have overweight um, is uh, it has the a, a, uh -huh, emotional part, no? They eat because they have anxiety wow. or because, mm, I don't know, they are uh, yeah, they so, have uh, issues. issues they have uh -huh. And, and that's the more difficult part. But also, it's very important you to reconnect with your body. And that's also the uh, thing that I do in my, in my consultation. It's not just, oh, here is the food and the supplement. No, I also teach you a technique to uh, like to um, just like reconnect or to talk you with your body again and you say what well, your body what's that yeah, yeah because we never uh, talk with our body you just the mind is just oh, i have to do this diet because right. i overfat and and really you are asking your body your body is the one that is going to do the diet your body <laughs> is the one that, that is going to do the exercise right. and sometimes we don't um take that in mind not so yeah. that's very important also to connect with your body mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering how uh, when a person goes to you initially, the first time you see them, uh, do some of them bring their health um, records or mm. do you ask them to have a, a urinalysis and blood mm -hmm. tests and give you the results? Or do you do it uh, by looking at those results? Uh -huh, also, yes, both. If people have their analysis, they bring to the uh, consultation, consultation it's okay and if not i tell them which ones i need no based on what they tell me about their historical med medical history, yeah, history. and yes uh-huh so let me ask you could could you could you write a uh uh not a set a recipe or uh -huh. not a recipe could you write an order so that when they go to a, huh. a hospital they'll give you these analysis? Yes. Uh, you do, are you authorized to do yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do that with the, uh, with the laboratory. I work with one, but if you want, you can go to another one. It doesn't, but yes, I right, give you, you the... Ah, uh, yes, I can give you the order to you to do those analysis. So, yeah, it's very important also, and that also helped me to give you a proper meal plan Diagnosis. and also uh -huh, and also with the nutrients you need. So, yeah, it's more complete. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, and the reason why I'm asking is because uh, I remember personally once going and I was curious about something. I said, let me go to the, the hospital and ask them for your analysis. I said, do you have an order from your doctor? I said, no, I just want to know for myself. I said, well, uh, you, you need no. somebody to tell us why you need yes. this and mm -hmm. what authority. In other words, yes, you can, we can do it, uh -huh. but we want to know. Who is the one advising okay. you? Uh -huh. Yes, okay. for so sure. You have That's that what... Yeah, I have Good those. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, when you when do you help them in uh, assigning uh, the health goals? In other words, do you tell them um, I'm going to help you for the first ten mm -hmm. kilos? Yes. And after that, we will check you out and see how you and you how your system is doing. Or do you have them go to you every two weeks? Or do you wait until they lose a certain amount of weight before you see them again? No, yes. Uh, we have to establish a goal, uh, like because it's very important to establish goals because your brain starts like, um, how do you say, like focusing yeah. when you say, okay, I have to, for example, if you have to to lose 30 kilos, you are not going to lose the 30 kilos at once, no? Instantly, yeah. Uh -huh. So you have uh, to establish a goal. Okay, so in one month, maybe I will lose uh, eight or and then I will lose, or 10 kilos is my first goal. Okay, 
So let's go for the those 10 kilos. And yes, my the, um, they have I um, see them every um, two weeks. Okay. Uh-huh. So yeah, because if not is is uh, for more time it doesn't um works. It's it, it's important to have um uh, seguimiento, uh, sí. following. Continuance. Uh -huh, the continuance, the following, because right. if not people then lose a little bit. So they yes. lose track of uh -huh. so it's very important yes. like every two weeks uh, checking and also check how are your uh your improvements, your your how do you say results? Your results. Uh -huh. like so, so because that's a motivation for people too. Exactly. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. No, I know that. Uh, re recently, I went to see my doctor, and uh, he was very impressed with my results in your analysis and blood tests, mm -hmm. and that made me feel better. Uh, but my question was, after I got that good news from mm -hmm. my actually a cardiologist, when I got oh. that good news. Mm -hmm. He, uh, he said, okay, now I want to see you in two months. So I'm saying to myself, well, two months, uh, maybe the first half months I can go back to what I was doing. Uh -huh. And before I see him, I'm going to go, you know, be strong. Uh, yes. It should not be like that. I mean, no. I know, but I no, do it anyway. Yeah, I'm, many I'm people, like eh, most of the people do that. Dr. Sellis. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this yes. personal meal plan mm -hmm. that you provide for your clients, are they with the food that they ordinarily eat, or do you suggest? Uh, I, I reckon a lot of uh, uh, foods like spinach and stuff that that have a lot of nutrients. I don't have a lot of nutrients. Do you do it with the the food they normally eat, or do you add to it what you know they need, like beets uh, and spinach and mm -hmm. carrots? You add that to the plate. This is why I'm asking. Mm -hmm. Como Puerto Rican, uh -huh. Puerto Rican, uh, one of our basic staples is rice and beans. Okay. With, with anything. Uh -huh. But you got to have rice and beans. Mm -hmm. Aquí es la tortilla. Uh-huh. Okay. So if I was if I was to go to you, mm -hmm. and, and, and I don't eat rice and beans every day because I'm, I'm in Mexico. <laughs> I don't do it every day. But uh, if I was to do that, they tell me, okay, eat a little bit of rice, mm -hmm. a little bit of beans, and more greens and more, you know, which I think... It's something logical, but do they follow that, or do you advise them to, in addition to eating what you always eat, eat also th these mm -hmm. vegetables or these fruits? You know, yeah. do, uh, I'm, I'm I'm only asking because that's me. No, no, no. Like in your case, well, see, yeah. Yes, if you want to eat rice and beans, okay, those are carbohydrates. So, okay, I will take those and like, That's okay, uh -huh, like, okay, don't eat tortilla, but eat a cup oh, of rice or a cup of beans. Right. And okay, it's a, it's not a bad food. It's just, uh -huh, it's balancing. And of course, you have to add vegetables. So, yes, we add vegetables and you can still eating those rice and beans, but not like, three cups no right, uh -huh. right. so yes we wow. can do like um something that works for you because yeah. it's something that you are going to do for a long term so i don't want you to like in one <laughs> month you say okay no i'm not going to do this anymore to get angry. yeah <laughs> but also i'm not going to tell you okay if you are eating uh hamburgers every day yes you can continue uh, eating hamburger hamburgers no <laughs> so no so yes we have to to find a, a balance in that no and it's more important if like if you have diabetes or you have cholesterol you can't eat like sugar or you can yeah. eat uh, uh fats no Though, well no yeah, certain yeah. uh-huh um, some kind of fats you can't eat because it's your your health no so yeah, yeah it, it's just that uh I'm the type of individual that if you want to tell me, you don't know what you like to eat hamburgers every day. Yes. And you, I, this is me thinking, right? Okay, she says I can eat hamburgers, not every day. So I said, well, what if I eat every other day with no bread? No, you know, like I'm trying to make excuses. Ah, and yes, many people do that because I say, okay, you are going to uh, eat tortilla and if you ah like with alcohol because that's another alcohol, uh, yeah. alcohol yes they say ah oh, can i drink alcohol and then i say okay a beer is two thir one beer is two tortillas so they say ah oh, okay i'm not going to eat the tortillas i want that i have for the week and then in the weekend i with the all the beers no it doesn't work like that no I would have thought so, yeah. Yes, 
I know, yeah, but it depends on each one, no, the people. Yeah. Because everyone is different, so you know, no? I mean. <laughs> yeah, but you're really hurting your stomach or your, your system because if you tell me, uh, I don't drink beer, but you tell me you can have one beer or two tortillas. Mm -hmm. I say, I eat two tortillas a day for five days. That's five beers <laughs> instead of eating 10 tortillas. Yes. Although I can drink five beers on the weekend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. No, no es así. But, but no. Uh -uh. No, pero es que uno, uno le gusta usar, you know, we like yes. to take advantage of uh, yes. and, and modify our own diet and our own way of, of, uh, uh, of actually not even helping ourselves. <laughs> helping us uh, not keeping up with the way our body should, should yeah. be functioning. Mm -hmm. um, does it matter to you? Or do, uh, I guess it does. But do you have um, do you have specific plans, goals, depending on the age, sex, and mm -hmm. physical? Maybe you're handicapped. Maybe you're in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. Do you have mm -hmm. certain plans for each of those individuals? Because there's so many different variables. You have people that are feel good. Some that their back hurts. Others that are in a wheelchair. Others that are I don't know. They're super overweight. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, you you are the one who devises for each individual um, what specific mm -hmm. food choices they make. You do that by first finding out mm -hmm. what they eat and how they eat, and then you. you yes, on, wha on what they, they eat, how they eat, and what they need. No, so exactly. yes, we we have to do exactly. like a. a a selection of which meal plan is the best for that people. No, it's not the same for a kid or for a woman that makes that likes to run right. or for a, 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 a man that has a issue with hypertension, hypertension right. or diabetes oh. or something. Yeah, yeah, it's different. So I have to like um, um, decide which is going to be the meal plan for that person. Okay. So it's not the same for everybody i also use something that is um the blood type um diet i don't know right. uh -huh. it's very, blood. Uh -huh. oh. and it's uh, that's like uh one of my um the one who, which with i start because really in, in all these years i've been nutritionist mm -hmm. i have 15 years in this business wow. and i have noticed that that kind of diet or that kind of um, like kind of like meal program, meal program. Uh -huh. it's uh, it's good because really the type O needs some uh, some foods more than the type I or the type B. So yeah, also I use okay. that one uh -huh, to for starting, and then yes, I. I, I'll do changes now every two weeks. I uh, I do changes based on the results and on what people uh, are telling me. No, if, um, yes. So the, the blood type is very important too. On that's why yeah, you, that's what I noticed. Yes, because uh, they feel better for <laughs> health. It's better, and they are there are uh, foods that you absorb better if you are type O and or you are B and yes, and also okay, for no. losing weight. It's good also, yes. For, you know, that's the first time I've heard that the blood type was so necessary or essential in you making up their meal plans. And, and I mean, not, it makes sense because I suppose, depending on your blood type, some blood types uh, absorb, um, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, niacin, iron, or whatever minerals that they absorb faster or easier than other blood types. Yes, or the digestion, no? Maybe the uh, for like proteins, maybe for blood type O, it's uh, easier than for blood type IA, no? Oh. And yes, yeah, so okay. it's, it's very interesting. Okay. And I have seen results with that. So that's why also I recommend that one. How long have you been using that, uh, uh, being aware of the blood type? How long have you been using that technique? Since you started or is that something? No, it was... Uh, I I have 23 years being a nutritionist, okay. but when I start using the orthomolecular nutrition and the blood type, it's like, yes, 15, 16. Well, this year okay. it will be 16 okay. years. Yeah. With yeah, the consultation and with uh, patient, patients, clients, well, clients, okay. cl clients. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's my experience with those uh, systems. No. And with these clients, when you are advising them of their meals, uh, do you go back and forth 
on them saying, well, you can't eat this, but you could eat these, this. And then they say, well, I don't like that. Can I eat something else? Do you uh, go through that? Yes, yes, yes. Because uh -huh. oh, I'll, I also ask if they are allergic, allergic yeah. if they have any allergy. Right. Or yes, no, yeah, we can like do some changes, no? And mm -hmm. yes, it, uh -huh. so it don't has it doesn't have to be like um Mm, how do you say like um, como así todo cuadrado como <laughs> no, I'm, mm -hmm. o sea no tiene que ser como eh, forzoso rígido Medio. eso rígido no strict. Sé. strict ajá yes some things yes but we can uh, do changes uh, modify. modify ajá on what uh, for the people is uh, they can do and and if they like and yes we can do changes no because that's the um, the success For flexibility. The flexibility, uh -huh. but also, yeah, you have to, you have, to have, you, you have to, uh -huh. maybe it's a, ¿cómo se dice? En, en línea delgada sí, en sí, español, fine line. fine line, but we can, uh, you can work with that. Yeah, we can work with that. We can find uh, what works for you and you really can do the, the plan, no? The, the meal plan. Yeah. Yes. How do people react to you when they say, they tell you, oh, in two weeks I'm going to go to a wedding. Mm. <laughs> and they're gonna have pozole, and they're gonna have um, birria and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. And you tell them, well, you know, that's not really part of your plan. Mm -hmm. Is there a way where they can say, well, this one day yeah. only, mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat a small amount of pozole, a small amount of birria? Yes, of course. And or, then they have to go back to the regular. Uh huh. Diet. Or if is there the birthday? You are going, you want to eat cake now. So, yeah. yes. No, yeah, you can do it. And then, but then you start again, no? It's during the weekend, okay? And then you start right. again with your meal plan. Stay again with the weekend. Uh huh, go. yeah. It's not that you are not going to eat. I remember no. reading not long ago, and, and actually, my, my lady telling me, and then telling me that uh, she had read that uh, for those people that have certain diseases or whether it's a diabetic or whatever they, they have, that they should eat, they should think about eating, I'm sorry, for the people that don't have it, okay. they should think about eating as if they had it. Mm -hmm. If you know that a diabetic individual shouldn't eat sweets and other things that contribute to that, I don't think it's only sugar. I don't know, I'm not a doctor, but um, there's so many factors, so I really don't know. But if if the doctor tells you, uh, and you or you hear and you know that, You know, I can't eat, I can't have coffee with sugar because I can't, I mean, I can have coffee, but not the sugar. I can have cake, but, but sugar-free cake or cookies, mm -hmm, whatever you mm -hmm. People that don't have, that are not diabetic mm -hmm. or people that don't have heart conditions or whatever mm -hmm. they have, they should eat as if they don't want to have that. In other words, no comas más de lo que tiene que comer. No, mm -hmm. no sea un afrentado. In other words. If you eat a piece of cake and you're somewhere and it's a wedding, eat your piece of cake and leave it there. Uh -huh. Don't eat three quarters of the cake only because, no, come in my mouth take another sheet. Or mm -hmm. If you, you know, in other words, don't be a glutton. No sé, un glutón. Uh, glutón. Un glutón. En español es glutón. Making up words. Uh-huh. Yes, I, I guess people or most of the people eat more than they need. <laughs> <laughs> you're because looking at somebody. Re re <laughs> yes, really, our body doesn't need too much to stay alive and to stay healthy yeah. but it's more about like social you uh, know like or, oh. or, or 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 emotional thing or i don't know exactly but yes there are many um things that white people eat right 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 <laughs> yeah. and what they eat more than uh -huh, what they, they eat more yes uh -huh, yes you think that maybe it's the taste buds they like the way the food tastes and they can well it yes off? because also uh, Talking about sugar, sugar is addictive. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are some types, or there are processes food, pro processed yeah, food, processed food, processed food that has like these uh, conserva yes, conservative. conservatives and that makes you uh, to eat like more, no? Like this. Yeah, salt, like the salt um, and the. Aha, uh -huh, the glutamato, glutamate. Or... Slice in the cold meats. Aha. Uh -huh. Canaria. Sí. Cuando la compra de paquete, like when you buy them in the supermarket, mm -hmm. they're processed. Mm -hmm. with and that's why makes sodium, you. Sodium, all kinds yes, of sodium. Yes. You want to, to eat more. And also light products, eh? Like, well, with edulcorants. Edulcorants. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like a, a light to your. To your um, to yourself because you think that you are well yourself 
your cell is waiting for sugar, but then your, uh, your the taste, the taste uh -huh, is sugar, but the cell is not receiving sugar. So then you want to eat more. Oh, it's like a really? circle, uh, circle of so vicious. Um, sí, sí. uh -huh. It's a vicious cycle. So uh -huh. What it is, is um, when you're saying that it's, uh, it's addictive, mm -hmm. I mean, you may try to confuse, uh, not confuse yourself, but you may try to trick yourself into saying, I'm going to eat this. It's almost like sugar. It tastes mm -hmm. like sugar. Mm -hmm. And the, but your body is telling you that's not what I want. Uh -huh. not what I yeah, because our body needs sugar, but in a small amount, no. Right, right. So, so yeah, it's like okay, I need sugar, but you are not giving sugar, so okay, and I'm going to eat more, and then you will have more anxiety. And... <laughs> do you think that uh, fruits do, are they good substitute for that sugar? Uh, yeah, that, that sugar. Um, I'm say it's a <laughs> habit that you have uh -huh. of fruits better than. The actual gran granulated sugar. Yeah, it's better. But but even even fruits have a lot of sugar. Ah, yes, it ha they have fructose. fructose. Uh -huh, fructose. So yeah, you can eat fruit. It's better, but yeah, also you have to measure. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You have to measure. Uh -huh, measure. Mm -hmm. yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Yes, but yeah, it's and, and that would, maybe that will control that desire. I'm a sugar freak. I love sugar, but I, I don't use it with my coffee. Mm -hmm. well, that's a lie. I'm over <laughs> <laughs> here lying to everybody. I'm sorry. I use a half a spoon of sugar with my cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Ordinarily, see, I used to live in Miami, mm -hmm. and ordinarily the coffee served over there is very sweet. Mm. We get that from the from the community, from mm -hmm. the uh, Cuban community. Uh. And they they use a lot of sugar. Well, Puerto Ricanos también, no? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is that we get used to having three spoons of sugar. Oh, wow, for one yeah, coffee? For one co <gasps> and sometimes the coffee is like this, Oops. and real black, wow. you know, espresso. Uh -huh. And they put a lot of sugar. And what I started doing years ago, nothing new, uh, is using two spoons of sugar. Okay. But for the last, I guess for the last year and a half, I use one spoon of sugar. I'm diabetic. Okay. I'm diabetic. Uh, so uh, I use one spoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. And I do that because my, I need to taste something. Now I don't even taste it. I think I don't taste it, mm -hmm. but I know it's there. Okay. You know, I, I think I'm trying to fool myself or I don't know what I'm trying to do but if I see that I put the sugar in I drink the coffee like that even aunque un poquito amargo no mm -hmm, para mí mm -hmm. pero por lo menos sé que I, I contributed that one yeah sugar I don't know how to stop that I mean I, I mean I know how to I just don't want to I guess yeah uh, I wonder how how do how do people break the, that type of habit what, do they, do you find a lot of people like me that complain a lot I like to complain about everything <laughs> Do you have clients like that? <laughs> yes. Well, but it's habits. You know, after 21 days, they said, no, it's sí. that if you do something 20, continuous. Uh -huh, continuous 21 days, you make a habit. So, yes, are just those habits. So, so that's something that you have to uh, dedicate. Uh -huh. to. Yes, every day. It's, it's small changes, no? Like if you don't yeah. uh, used to do exercise, well, go and uh, go for a walk 15 minutes that's and okay do. and then you go for 30 minutes and right. then one hour and yes it's it's just to get used to but I, i'm thinking that the most difficult thing for people that want to that want to maintain a, a healthy a healthy balanced diet after they see you i think the most difficult thing for them would be one when they go out to eat in the restaurant uh -huh. Because everybody, everybody's eating their favorite food. They go to the Chinese, famous Chinese restaurant. <laughs> and you can't eat all that stuff. You you shouldn't eat all that stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what you plan. I'm not asking you what mm -hmm. you tell them. Eat only only um, five ribs with other <laughs> sauce on it and, and eat two, one egg full young. In other words, at the limit, the limit the amount of your intake. Or do you tell the world, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, you should stick to the vegetables and steam better than fry I don't yeah know. like like thing. yeah i give options to, okay. to people but also i remember a client that that she tells me i don't travel when i'm on the oh on, really uh -huh, on the meal plan because she said if i travel and i i, I will okay, uh -huh, I, I, uh -huh, I can I can't, yes 
I can't do this. So I, I will not travel while I lose my, my that was kilos. One of the and, uh -huh. When But, people travel, yes. mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. they have a travel plan for me? Ah, uh, yeah. I, I also can give you like options, no? Based on your, uh, on your, your needs. needs. Uh -huh. And I say, okay, you can eat uh, this amount of carbohydrates, of uh, sugar, of proteins. And I give you like a list. And okay, you are going to choose, no? Yeah, I also can do that. But yeah, I, are people that maybe they don't want to go or are people, people um, also, are, are, there are people that avoid like the buffets yeah. because they say, if I, now I go to a buffet, I'm going to eat everything. So I, I prefer not to go now. A buffet. So everyone knows what are their, like the weakness and how yeah. the limitations. So <laughs> yeah, that's very important. Yeah. No? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, part of the thing, the phenomenon that I see about eating healthy is I see a lot of people, oh, I used to see when I lived in the States, a lot of people walking around with bottles of water and bananas. Mm -hmm. They always have a lot of water. And I know the, how necessary the water is. I understand mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. And the bananas, I guess potassium or whatever it is that, that they eat bananas for. But sometimes they take it to an extreme. No, I mean, say it's demasiado, they overdo it. Mm -hmm. I wonder, I don't know. I don't know, but I never walk around with bananas and water. Mm -hmm. But I see these people and they're like two or three bananas in their bag and uh, un litro de agua and oh, they, uh, this is what that. they're going to eat. But more important than all that, and this is something that I've learned, mm -hmm. is that you should not skip meals, no? Ah, uh -huh. Porque a veces uno dice, no me como esto, mm -hmm. no como por la mañana, por, por a las 12, a las 2 de la tarde, uno va a tragar medio, mm -hmm. medio kilo de carne o lo que sea. No, it's very important not to skip meals because if not, well, unless you are doing this uh, intermittent fasting, Yeah. Uh, if you are going to do that, okay, do it. But like it, like it is right now, now 16 hours. Uh -huh. sí. But if you are not doing the interm, fasting. Uh -huh, the fasting, the inter intermittent, are you intermittent? No. It, you have to eat like three, at least three um, times a day, sí. uh -huh, and not to um, skip. Bueno, um, dejar pasar. Yeah, miss, miss out. Miss out like uh, more than five hours, no, or six oh, really? hours. Yeah, uh -huh. you should not. You should I, I not. get the help uh -huh. with the metabolism, no? Yeah, uh -huh. because if not, your body says, "Ah, okay, uh, you are, you are not, uh -huh. you are not eating." Okay, I don't know if you are going to eat, yeah. but to eat later. Yeah. So I will um, guarda grasa. I will uh, okay. keep save that for save, uh -huh. save fat, no, if, because maybe if you are going to do a fast, oh, that's okay. how the metabolism works. So yes. So the, the, the body is very intelligent mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or it can tell. I'm not sure. I'm not, maybe it can say, oh, you know, Louis, I mean, he had a lot of fat. So you're not eating fats this mm -hmm. these uh, two days. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take some of your fat reserves. It doesn't talk like that, no? Mm -hmm. Digo, mm -hmm. does it say, de tanto gordo que tiene tu sistema, voy a usar parte de lo gordo que tiene para porque no comiste tres chuletas o algo así. No, but, I mean, but the, 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 okay. no tan... If you if you are not going to eat anymore, maybe, but then you eat not after. Uh -huh, uh -huh. and then it, it starts. Uh -huh. yeah, you overdo it. Yes. To, to, to compensate like. Uh huh. <laughs> wow. Okay. No, but that makes sense to me. I'm just being funny here. I'm just trying oh, to be cute. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. the um. The, the uh when people buy these supplements that you uh, that you recommend them mm -hmm. they buy them at uh, any given store or do you tell them where to buy it mm -hmm. uh is there do you use brand names or use generic brand names to buy let's say vitamin c and niacin yes i recommend uh, some brands that i use like yeah. i have I've been using them like for years. 15 years so yeah. yes uh -huh. but also if you uh, I, you can say, or you can um, show me which are you taking, if okay. you are, uh -huh, and I can check them and say you if they are okay, okay. for you or if not, yes. Because mm -hmm. sometimes we go after the brand name. Uh -huh. uh, we see a brand that's very recognizable and they have a lot of commercials. Yes. Well, I'm going to go to this store mm -hmm. and I'm going to buy all the vitamin C that I need from there. Mm -hmm. Or you can go to a Tianguis. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, if the, if the, um, If the generic vitamin C or vitamin D or whatever you need to take, is it is it really generic? Is it really with the substance that it needs, or is it just something that that's the way, that's not what you know? I guess when you go to a generic pharmacy, mm -hmm. um, 
I would trust them more than buying my vitamin C, let's say, out in the street. Mm -hmm. I, I would trust more a pharmacy, but you really don't know, right? Yes, no. Um I don't know exactly uh, the generics and the um, about the supplement like yeah. the vitamins, yeah. but um, it is better you to take a recommended, a recommended, recommended or recognized uh, okay, brand. Okay. Yes, because mm -hmm. okay, that's yeah. why you're there for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, what kind of uh, advice um, do you give anybody? Like, for instance, now we got like 10 minutes left. Actually, we got five, six minutes left. Okay. Before we continue, and a couple of more questions, could you give them how they can contact uh, Monica Acosta? Mm -hmm. No, Arriaga Acosta. Arriaga, okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I will spell it. My, you can find me in 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 Facebook. Right. It's Arriaga. It's A R R I A G A Nutrición. N U T R I C I O N Arriaga Nutrición. And that's on Facebook. That's on Facebook. And in Instagram is the same Arriaga, but with a lowercase dash Nutrición. Arriaga lowercase. Arriaga lowercase dash, dash. Nutrición. Nutrición. Uh -huh. And then on Facebook I have my YouTube. Perdón, Facebook, YouTube. I okay. have my YouTube channel. In it's Nutrióloga, that's the word for nutrition. It's nut right. Nutrióloga right. Mónica Arriaga. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can find me there. Okay, let me just repeat that for you guys that are watching. And yes. Facebook is Arriaga Nutrición. Uh -huh. Is that two words? Two separate words? Yeah, separate, separate, separate words. Arriaga okay. And uh, Arriaga, um, lowercase dash nutrition that's um instagram instagram okay and youtube is uh nutrióloga nutrióloga monica Arriaga. 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 Mm -hmm. Otto, por favor. okay <laughs> yeah i will make sure they get that uh, okay and of thank course, you those that are watching you yes can and also i give uh online consultation so if you are not here in guadalajara or yeah. you can do an online consultation oh that'd be excellent too and they'll yeah. con contact you whichever these three yeah mm -hmm. okay you're gonna see uh once once we're done with this program uh she's gonna upload this video if you want to watch it again of course on facebook also mm -hmm. so i just want to let everyone know that yeah. we're here to 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 help you uh, i want to thank you Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, have, I have another question, but I want to thank you, uh, firstly, because we connected kind of late in the year, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you were able to say, yes, mm -hmm. I'll go, and I, I thank you for that. Oh, yeah, thank yeah. you for having me. <clears throat> so the people that follow, they have one or two weeks to prepare, but she, with, with me and her, mm -hmm. and Monica, we had to do it real quickly, so we wrote a lot back and forth, mm -hmm. which is cool. Mm -hmm. um, when, if people are, and my last question is, when you consult people, you sit down with them and you, you talk to them like as if you, you want them to benefit mm -hmm. from your from your consultation. Do, did you find anyone that gets annoyed or get angry or I can't do that or that's too difficult? No, at the beginning, because at the beginning, at the beginning, they want to be there. No, that's why okay. either. Maybe while the time is passing and, and it's normal. People sometimes they are like kind of maybe tired or they yeah, want like yeah. to. But that's when they say, OK, go on to a restaurant. If you want to eat a pasta, OK, eat a pasta. Or, yeah, because it's normal. No, If you are you have many weeks like on a <laughs> diet, then you want to eat something yeah. different. And, and people yes. around your house are eating regular uh, food. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And yes, we you want to be part of that. Uh huh. So, it, okay. And then uh, I, I thought it was the last question, but it's not. Mm -hmm. um, the people that they live with, um, do they sometimes help in, in, in the person controlling their, their diet? In other words, in my house, if I was to eat what you told me to eat, if you give me a menu, mm -hmm. and I'm eating my menu, but <laughs> thank you. But around me, everybody's eating all mm. the other food. Do you speak with the with them to tell their family members, you know, because you don't want to eat alone. You want to eat no. with the family at the table. Do they warn or do they tell the family members, Mira, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna be eating this this food because mm -hmm. for my health and everything. 
how difficult is it for them to control themselves when everybody else is eating, um, you know, tacos and you're here on lechuga? Yeah, that, that's a challenge. Sometimes family helps, but sometimes not. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a challenge. But there are, there are some people that come with family and I tell the family or the, yeah. or the wife or the husband or, right. yeah, to help. But that's a challenge, yeah. <laughs> the wow. support, the family support, so. Exactly. Yeah. It's always easier when the family helps out. Mm -hmm. when, when the family or with the or where the partner helps. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the difference between success in, in the oh, check in, that out. In the treatment. Yeah, uh -huh. to, the, the support. Mm -hmm. um, I think if 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 you know somebody in your family personally that's having issues, that has problems, and you want them to get better. Yeah, you have to not not to give him a burger or a cake. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Come un pedacito que no te va a hacer nada. Ajá. Uh, la, ándale, la ándale. No, aquí, no, sí. <laughs> no. Uh, no lo hagas. Sí. Bueno. Um, quería. Uh, I want to. I want to thank you again, and I'm going to give you about two or three minutes if you have something you want to add on your own. You know, uh -huh. not just my question. What do you want to tell the public? Oh, just. Uh, well, we are in a time of the year that everybody wants to. Wow. Well, We are like uh, in in a new year, in with new goals and with new like uh, focus. So take advantage of this time, and if you want to do some changes in your life, well, do it. Um, and you can you can do it. It's not so difficult. So if you need help, you can talk, contact me, and and I can show you how to eat to eat eat, eat properly. He properly, healthy, easy. And in a, ¿cómo se dice? En una manera guiada, sí. in a guide. In a, way. in a uniform. Way. Ajá, in a uniform way. So thank and, you, Luis. Yeah, well, I'll thank you because this is uh, this is very interesting and important for the public. And the last thing I want to just add is, do they have, do you have uh, health plans depending on uh, monetary program? In other words, este plan va a costar tres mil pesos este plan vale mil mil quinientos pesos este plan es mil pesos o o the amount of money charge is depending on what your need is in other words I, I'm not saying to give a number I don't want you to give a number you do no. that when you're doing consultation yes. uh -huh. but because some people say oh that's too expensive or oh, maybe uh -huh. maybe no it's not how good. do you uh -huh. talk to them about about what they need and how important it is you know, for them to be part of the plan. Do they uh -huh. say, ese plan, that plan is too expensive. Can you give me something cheaper? Esto no es para... No. Esto no es un tianguis para uno estar ahí. No, no, I have like my uh, consultation price. Yeah. And then I also I have like package. Oh, okay. And if you do, you, uh, if you use the package, it's, it's cheap, cheaper. Cheaper. Uh -huh, okay. For you, like four consultations for... And, Thank yeah, you very much. That. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Gracias, okay. maestro. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Mm -hmm. uh, thank everybody for being here.